Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Mark and I've got for you my very first open L knife. This is the open L number seven, meaning it is seven inches long once it's open. Let's go ahead and go over the features of this knife. We've got a laminated wood handle. This is the basic wood, possibly beech wood. I've seen a couple different things on what it might be. Notice the contouring in the handle, which makes it really nice to hold. Bit of a bevel here on the end. We've got the Viro block, or this collar here, that's actually a lock mechanism for the blade. As you can see, it does lock the blade closed. You simply rotate the collar to open the blade. So it is a two-handed opener. And then once the blade is opened, you turn the collar again, and now the blade is locked in place. This is really nice for a couple different reasons. First, there's a lot of tradition here. This is a very old design, a couple hundred years old, and they just haven't really had to change it. The, the locking collar, I believe, is more modern than the knife itself, but this very knife, the way this looks, aside from the collar, is how it looked 200 years ago. Now, the, the, the most famous, I believe, of the Open-O line is the Open-O number eight, meaning it's eight inches long. I went with the seven, just because if I do want to carry it in my pocket, then it's going to be a little bit better for me to carry, much more comparable to my Victorian Ox hiker. So we've got a four inch handle from end to the end of the collar and a three inch blade. This is a 12C27 stainless steel. And my hiker has made me a huge fan of a nice shinier stainless steel. This does have a chrome in the mixture, much like the Vict Victorinox blade, which gives it that shine, the corrosion resistance, and it is just razor thin, which I've also become a big fan of in the type of knife that I carry. We do have a nail nick on it, but once that collar is locked, the Viro block, it's, that blade is not moving. This blade is traditionally going to be used, I guess, more for picnicking and foodstuffs, cutting cheese and meat and bread or whatnot while you're out picnicking, but I I really like it. And here it is side by side with the hiker. You can see the hiker is a bit shorter, but when we look at them folded, we're gonna be taking up just about the same amount of real estate, a little bit longer, but when we look at the side view, you can see it's just about the same. So as far as protruding out from my leg, it's gonna be taking up just about the same amount of space. Right now, the Hiker is my main carry. I, I carry that thing every day and I use it almost every day. But every now and then, I'm, maybe I'm gonna to wanna to switch over to this Open L. Now, as far as my collection goes, I, I tend to stick with the $20 knives. Some, never really spending more than 30 on anything. The, the hiker was 35, I think. So, but that is a multi-tool rather than just a pocket knife. But I love everything about this. This is made in France. And I, I feel like any collection should have one. They have a large number of sizes you can pick from all the way down to two inches, all the way up to 13 inches in length. They've got serrated edges. They've got uh, mushroom cutting edges where the blade actually hooks forward a little bit more for like pruning and garden work. One other reason I like this is I think this would actually make a fine knife for scouts. And here's why. There are certain safety measures that they teach the scouts when they are to handle a knife. They really prefer a knife that takes two hands to open. You need to be able to hold it with what's called a bear paw, keeping all of your digits out of the way of the blade. 
and that definitely happens with this knife. Second, they want the knife to be able to lock. A locking knife is a safe knife. Slip joints don't meet that criteria. And then when you bring the knife back down to close it up, you are again holding it in the bare paw grip and closing the knife without any fingers in the way of the blade. Knives with locking mechanisms that are right here that have to be closed with your thumb, your thumb actually crosses over in front of the blade. So scouts don't really like that sort of example. Slip, slip joint knives don't stay open securely. They don't lock. And then even locking knives with a button on the back, you still have to put your hand in harm's way. So safety to the extreme for sure, but we're talking about teaching knife safety to kids. I think the OpenL does a nice job of meeting all the safety criteria while still being a really useful knife for scouts in the field to do a lot of tasks with. All right, well, that is the Open L number seven, the newest addition to my collection, and I am quite happy to have it. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.